Dexter New Blood Episode 9 titled The Family Business and of course this family business it's not like other families who have businesses normally it's like a certain parent wants to retire the, the this child takes over and runs the company or runs the store runs whatever the business is but no this family business is more stabby stabby I grab a knife and go kill other bad guys because I have a dark passenger. I'm like the Punisher, but a little bit more where I co I, I, I don't know why I was going to go with that sentence. But with this episode, and it's a really well done episode. But what, what really stood me out with this episode is it kind of felt like a series final. Like it felt like next week is going to be like an epilogue. Because this episode we have... Dexter, no, how is it? Dexter killing Kirk. We have Dexter calling, uh, killing Kirk. We understand his motivations that, you know, Kirk, you know, the, the, these girls were runaways. They were swains. And right now, I'm, I'm, uh, they have a home. They always have a home and they're always perfect in exactly the way they are in his weird way. Because what we find is in the past 25 years is he has has watched the entirety of the Lindsay Lohan Tyra Banks film Life Size where Tyra Banks is a doll and she comes to life and she's a human size so she's a doll and you know she's kind of like a Barbie doll who comes to life basically he sees that because he's like I'm gonna have all kill all these girls and kill all these women and make them my dolls dolls saved and they're perfect and he kills Mary, by the way. And I, I won't, I won't lie. I'm a little bit like, you know what? I kind of wish. I get it was trying to be the bing do do. He kills, you know. You, you, we find that Kirk killed Mary, but I think it'd be better if we actually saw it. But again, we did saw two kills, you know, two processes of him, and his two processes of him killing two. Uh, to go. So seeing a third one, it's a bit it could come across as a imperative because we kind of know how it goes. But it, there's a part of me is like when it's someone that we know versus this random people, you know, went when, when, two random, you know, characters that you know, nameless victims, you may say. Um, us as audiences are more personal attachment because we have spent X amount of episodes with this person. So we got that. Now, with the rest of the episode, outside of the, the fuckery of Kirk, oh my god, damn it, Dexter, like the show itself, I try killer, drinks his blood. Yeah, that's fucked up. No, we have the crazy ex or the crazy girlfriend, <laughs> you know, uh, in season two. Then we got Stinner. Jeez, stins people, that's fucked up. Like, no, let's use Trinity Cut. Let's do Trinity Cut. No, that's not fucked up enough. Uh, let's do Bells. No, that's not fucked up enough. Um, let's do Doomsday Killer. Let's do that. And uh, that's as, as fucked up we can go because, you know, 7, 8, the will you know, forget about. And now we are with Kirk and he's completely fucked up. Anyway, anyway. But the rest of the episode is really outside of the in the context of it it's it's a really well done episode because it is basically just a a son and a father trying to reunite reunite with each other and uh you know having their struggles trying to we try and find some common ground trying to have all he prevail trying to have a sense of peace and sense of economy and bond and just have the lovely twisted normal father son relationship is and in this weird twisted Dexter way and that's basically what happens in this episode and you got bits and pieces where like you know he's telling you know Dexter's telling Hansen about the dark passenger and what he does and what 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 does he do and he just kind of spins it in a way that he you know hunts these kills you know hunts these people fall in the craft and beats the shit out of them and you know stand out of the way but what, you know, he just cuts the killing part. 
And he had Deborah in, in his head going, Don't you fucking tell him you kill people. Do you fucking dare you tell him you kill people? Because he's going to run away. You know, if you want to lose him, he's going to lose, you know, you better not tell that you're the bait of the bullshit, the actual one. Don't you dare. And the moment, you know, has a fine tell. He's like, oh, you're like Batman. So you have this cool, the bond of it, and you kind of smile out through it, and this kind of weird Batman and Robin type thing that's happening where you have Harrison on a hunt that's on a, you know, Teaching the code. Dex is teaching him the code. Number no, one, don't get caught. Do it at night time. But here's the weird thing. This is the weird fucked up thing about the whole bonding thing is that you're seeing Harrison and Dexter bonding over Dexter showing Harrison how he kills and how he hunts his prey in a way. And you have like a moment where like Dexter is chopping Kirk up in nine pieces, because he officially says that he cuts them in nine pieces. People in nine pieces, it all depends how big they are. But, he, you know, Harrison's there. He's watching Dexter chopping up the pieces. And I'm like, watching, I'm like, oh, the bun thing. Why well, he's chopping up pieces of body parts. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how fucked up, how messed up. <laughs> the 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 activities are since then bonding is such a it's all such a polite way to go you know you know joining trying to find a spot showing you know showing how Dex actually kills you know about the bubble wrap and the plastic wrap now you know he's a evolving monster so don't want blood slides but you know there's also that um it's also it was kind of neat to see like old Dexter, like you know Miami Dexter, which clearly was like a you know a set inside, you know, Ella, you know, a set. This is set inside, you know, making a castle, you know, show a situation where like oh, here's old Dexter, he's in Miami. In the past, he's talking to Hanson about the. the Dark code of the pasture and your dark, dark pasture and what he does, and it was this clown and that that was kind of cool to see a little throwback of like, you know, I mean all was there was like oh I have to come on blood slides bring on the blood slides, <laughs> um, but yeah we only got one more episode left and they say that this is it this is only a ten episode thing and that's it so it's gonna be interesting unless basically how it you know big reveal in two weeks time they announced by the way season two you know season two of new blood is around the corner but unless that's a thing because last week i had this like new season we're going to get season two because i feel like you know there's a problem you, you might be jumbling up too much but in reality now they're able to space, space it out perfectly um but we got one more episode to go Dexter's probably going to get caught. It's probably going to be Dexter on the one. Um, if it's going to lead to him being in jail, or him getting electric, you know, getting the electric chair, or him getting killed, or whatever the situation is, um, it's got to be interesting. And my guess, the concept, because my guess, and also we don't know how long the episodes are. So this ep the last next week is so, yeah. One more episode of Dexter to go. <laughs> we have to say bye bye to our favorite friendly neighborhood. Here we go again. Just fucking hope it's better than um, you know, Dexter being a you know woodchucker of a woodchucker should woodchuck do. You know, of going you know symbolically put Harrison into a lake and. And go into a storm and become a, a wood a, a wood chopper. Yeah, that's. Um, I hope I hope it's better than that. I, I hope it's better than that. Um, I understand season eight went the uh, sub ball again, um, but come on, let's get that let's get that bow that last bow. <laughs>